Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, divine angels of the New Earth Timeline, lighting the way into the promised land of the new Jaru Shalem. We are at the hinge point between becoming and returning. This is symbolic of the great expansion and contraction. It is the one law, the pulse of the universe, the rise and fall of energy creating the mirror effect and the simulation of movement and motion. Today is the 13th and last day of the white mirror wave spell and tomorrow we begin the blue monkey wave spell with the power of magic. Tomorrow the 9th of January is Keen 131, Blue Magnetic Monkey and Exact Zero Point, the source and galactic center of the Great Central Sun. This is the stillness, the neutral point, the void where time stands still and we enter true timelessness. The eternal now rests in the silence of the singularity of infinite density. This is the eye of the storm that all things rotate around the motionless pure awareness of Buddha consciousness, beyond all concepts and unknowable in nature, we call the great mystery. Today we have massive energetics flowing in from the great central sun, appearing as multiple pillars of white light on the Schumann charts, coming in at amplitudes of 19 hertz, 23 hertz, 18 hertz, and a big blast at 37 hertz. This is synchronic with the codes of 37 into 73 heaven on earth, or raising and merging earth with the heavenly realm. These gamma plasma waves from 5D are preparing us for the zero point void energy we enter tomorrow on the Zolkin as we merge with the still center of Hunabku, the galactic butterfly. Keep anchoring in the lights, the keys and codes, and frequencies deep into the grids the dragon lines, and the crystalline core of Pachamama. The inner sun is being activated for the merging and bridging of all timelines for this final quantum leap of consciousness into solar Christ-conscious beings of eternal life. Rise into the glory and grace of the new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end. And if you could please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below on what you're experiencing and feeling in these great shifting times. And please share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm to assist us all in this great awakening process. Now with all these powerful energetics coming in, we had many Earth activations all over this realm with 109 M1.5 or greater earthquakes. The most powerful on the Ring of Fire today, Papua New Guinea with a 5.9 activation. Earlier today, Nicobar Islands of India, 4.2, Fillmore, California, the south, close to Mexico, we had a 3.5. Again today in Gansu, Sheng, China, 4.5. Council of Nine Energy coming in. Yukon, Canada. The Crown of Lemuria, 5.2. Kermadec Island, New Zealand, 5.1. Atacama, Chile, 4.2. Tobelo, Indonesia, 5.3. Davao, Philippines, 5.0. In Nicaragua, Central America, home of our Mayan elders, 4.4, Divine 44 coming in, 43 kilometer depth, 444 portal. Crete, Greece, we had another 4.488 portal, Lionsgate, Lyra Nation coming in. Indonesia, 4.7, in the root chakra of Pachamama. South Sandwich Islands, 4.913, Divine Goddess. And in the holy portal, the sacred portal of Tajikistan, we had a 4.7. This is where the three holy mountains come together. The Tian Shan in the north, celestial mountain. Kunlun in the middle, divine feminine, heart center, middle Dantian. Himalayan in the south, lower Dantian. They merge together in the sacred portal, the Trinity, the Trident. In Tajikistan, 4.7. 
Aguanga, California, 3.333 33 Divine Mastery, Synchronic with the Mystic Void, Harmonic 33 and 33 of Divine Mastery, Sinaloa, Mexico, 4.7 Papua New Guinea, the most powerful 5.9. This was at 205 UTC at 7.177 latitude, 152.58 longitude, 71 into 17. The mirror of source code 777. And then we had a powerful 4.8 in Indonesia. The grids are all totally lit up and activated. The ring of fire is fired up and continuing to purge and cleanse for this great ascension process and for the full transformation of Mother Earth Gaia into Terra Nova Gaia. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 11 degrees, 55 minutes Aries. The sun is at 18 degrees, 51 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 19 degrees Capricorn. A child of about five carrying a huge shopping bag filled with groceries, and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 12 degrees Aries, a flock of wild geese from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck, Moonology, from Yasmin Boland. And the card she pulled for you today, Full Moon in Pisces, Balance Spirituality and Practicality. Have you been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical steps you take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Meditate on your question and the solutions to your issue may now come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. Attune with the moon. Meditate every day and see what comes to you. Answers will come. Additional meanings for this card? You're in a super romantic but not super realistic state. Follow your intuition. It won't let you down. At worst, this card can herald the end of a dream. The person you're inquiring about is a soulmate. Avoid substance abuse. The teaching. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, so the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks endings. When the moon is full in Pisces, or whenever you pull this card, it's a time to dive deep into your emotions. Practicality is at odds with the numinous Piscean energies that have no borders. So feel your way now. Psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in Pisces, and soulmates now connect. It's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe releasing your fears. And now today from Divine Sister of Delight, Christina Morichetti. We're releasing and healing everything from inside. Can you feel it? Can you see it? Be patient. Trust your higher self. See above and beyond human mentality. Let go right now of your limiting beliefs, of your grief, of your expectations. Remain in the present moment. Look at the bigger picture and only then you'll be able to connect to your divine plan, your project on this planet, and in that precise moment your heart will literally overflow with joy and gratitude. Much love, Christina. And from Isis Channelings, Venus Star Point, January 8th and 9th, Light Language Transmission with the Capricorn Meta Goddess, Ancient Matriarch, Wise Woman Wisdom Keepers, Nekbet, Caridwin and Hecate. The Venus Star Point. Venus traces a pentacle in the sky during her eight year cycle, and the Venus Star Point is the tip of the pentacle. On January 8th, 9th marks an important change of guard as Venus, Inanna, transitions from the archetype of the airy intellectual script writer, Gemini Metagoddess, to earthly, practical, and industrious Capricorn Metagoddess. It is a significant change in energy where Venus, as the divine feminine principle, moves from scriptwriter of the New Age blueprint to the actual earthing foundation setting and building of that blueprint as part of her new 584 shamanic synodic cycle as the Capricorn Metagoddess. 
The Venus-Sun conjunction on January 8th, 9th is the liminal space of alchemy, magic, where Venus sheds one identity and assumes another. This inferior conjunction of the Sun and Venus takes place while Venus is below the horizon and in the Sun's glare, and thus we cannot see her, and hence it's said she's underworld, but she is actually not in the underworld, but high in the sky and shining at her brightest. Hence this Venus-Sun conjunction holds a very different energy compared to Venus star points when Venus Inanna actually enters the underworld on her shamanic journey. Next Venus star point is in October 2022. At this Venus star point of alchemy and metamorphosis, we are to enter the new phase of earthing of our intentions and soul purpose, path and service, that is, it is a cycle of creation and manifestation of the consciousness of 22, held within the double infinity four-petaled rose of the Mary Magdalene lineage, the Blue Rose lineage, and the lineage of the Earth Shamans, Knight Templars, and Serpent Kundalini Priestesses, that which will seed the new age and allow us to re-enter the council of 22 star nations that monitor the cosmic ascension process. Venus in Nana is the Capricorn Metagoddess, is the autonomous and sovereign wise woman, wisdom keeper, the circle of grandmothers, the ancient matriarchs, and she has shown herself to me as Nekbet, the vulture goddess of the Egyptian pantheon, Hecate, key holder of the sacred wheel of creation fires, and Keredwin, keeper of the cauldron of transformation, inspiration, and rebirth. The vulture and the cauldron aspects are similar in the sense that they absorb and free the dead and decaying, that which needs to die, and transform, alchemize the elements of earth, water, air, and fire into a new rebirth of spirit, transmutation, metamorphosis. Fire Hecate is the energy of transformation too. Nakbet is the sorceress, alchemist, protector, ancient matriarch, guardian of the mysteries of death and rebirth, initiating a rebirth of consciousness via her caduceus. Hecate and Keridwin will be completing this divine trinity of the wise woman, ancient matriarch. I've been guided to bring in a light language transmission for this Venus star point where I'll be channeling these three formidable wise women, ancient matriarchs, as the flag bearers of the Capricorn Metagoddess as we enter this new Venus Inanna cycle from January 9th which Venus will begin her new cycle as the morning star, a cycle that is to be synonymous with the divine feminine symbolism of the bee and its hexagon, energy of six, a period of busy action, cooperation, unity, co-creation, miracles, all touched with the sweetness of nectar. For this particular time I was shown that as conditions are cosmically aligning to ground and anchor greater light, there is a simultaneous backlash to prevent the same from happening that is forces not of light are stepping up their onslaught and this may show up as increased foreign interference not of light energy trying to incapacitate us old karmic curses debts or ancestral trauma particularly related patriarchal control and domination tightening their vice-like grip all of which are attempting to derail us from new pathways of creation that are now to open. Some of you may be feeling this energy as a heaviness, especially as we enter this new year, or a definite knowing that there are foreign forces at work opposing your light. The ancient matriarchs are known for their ability to release us from the old patriarchal chains and bring in keys for the new. Time of Venus Sun, 7 p.m. CST, January 8th. 1 a.m. UTC, January 9th, 6.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time, January 9th. And light and grace and joy, be the change you want to see. Sake na, isischannelings.wordpress.com And from Divine Angel of the Light, Vrinda, 888 Freedom Earth. How are you feeling, beautiful family of light? We felt the energy coming yesterday, high energy assisting us in ascension. I hope you ride those waves with joy, visualizing the best timeline for yourself and everyone. This is a time of fast manifesting. A few hours ago, I saw and received the most amazing gentle light blue pulses coming from Sirius, central sun as it is aligned with the earth, and upgrades, 
Can you feel it? Galactic center sending signals, flooding Earth with beautiful energy. Tuning into galactic core, transmission begin. Open the way for divine influx of energies, anchoring into Earth's core. And from divine sister of the light, Laura Pleiadian, your ascension faster than the speed of light. We are with you transmitting the God codes of vibration to you now for your ascension, which we love to say is the return to that which you already are, your cosmic God self, the one and only eternal you, being. We are the divine council of overseers with the queen of light, Sunat Kumara, and the Pleiadian council of light. We have been with you before this universe. Your consciousness at the cosmic level already vibrates faster than the speed of light. The consciousness that entered this form arrived faster than the speed of light. This consciousness is what is allowing your form to breathe and exist through this earth program of advancement of awareness and return to full cosmic God-Self union. Feel these vibrations now as you breathe consciously and receive. Continue to connect through your heart, being in harmony in the moment feeling and knowing the very real presence of your eternal divine consciousness actualizes the alchemical process of your ascension. The transmuting of your memories connected to fear-based fight or flight have allowed your awareness to expand beyond anything imaginable, which in turn allowed the higher aspects of your brain to awaken, connecting you more profoundly to the center of this galaxy and to the energies at the core of the earth, central sun, the sun and the universe. This alchemical process accelerates the acceptance of what had once been deemed to be impossible to take place. The changes throughout this universe are astronomical. The pole shift and the resulting changes are far greater than realized. This very vibration activation keyed into your DNA now allows this the continued powerful awakening of your being as eternal divine consciousness through your heart. To be unified on all levels, which in the moment allows the full transfiguration of form, your ascension, you being your cosmic God self, that which you already are. This is the alchemical process of shifting into this conscious, faster than the speed of light being. This allows your form, your vehicle to vibrate more and more with the speed of light. That is what you call your ascension. You die to the old way. You awaken as awakened in your new state of being. We activate you in this. As the energies of the shift throughout this galaxy and universe continue to distribute the greater frequencies of electromagnetic waves, resulting in even more greater shifts, enter your heart. Enter the center of you, your heart. Enter the love. Enter the expansion. Enter into the core of the earth. Enter into the center of the galaxy. Enter into the center of the universe, the core of where this universe began. We are there and here now. We welcome all and activate all. For this is the shift in an appointed frequency. We vibrate as and with. We embody the frequencies of the shift and activate you in your own letting go, transmuting, entering your heart, entering only now, now blessing you with our love and activating you through it, feeling more than anything this now, from the new divinehumanity.com, and from divine sister of the light, Linda Good McGillis, grand rising sunflowers, as we move into the zero point union, which will be reached just after 2 a.m. central time tomorrow on the 9th, the mortal limited conscious reunifies itself with the intelligence of the cosmic mother's solar heart. In this centralized zero point, the pole axis flips. It began in the ethers, December 2012, and now the linear realms catch up to that which took place when the earth ascended in December 2012. It takes three linear days, 72 hours, for any light information to fully penetrate the molecular structure of the avatar body. On the 11th, the zero pointing will fully be felt by each and all, the bearing of your hearts, and that which is held within, revealed, and surfacing to be reconciled and loved, not an easy passage is all the light, non-light, pain, hurt, and energetic suffering held within is highlighted to be loved individually and collectively. 
Mortals have played judge, and in doing so face the very suffering they have inflicted upon themselves by doing so. All pain is held within the heart which dictates the suffering and limitations of the mind. Also on the early morning of the 11th we begin the fourth galactivation wave pulse. This wave will begin to be felt on the 14th. Again, 72 hours for integration into the cellular system. This fourth wave pulse will activate the throat from Earth's core and solar plexus from the grand central sun. A flip of the second wave pulse where the throat was activated by the sun and solar plexus activated by Earth. This brings a full lighting up of the new sun grid and meridian systems within the avatar bodies. Much will rapidly shift. The second wave pulse started the exiting of the mental world into the spirit world. The zero pointing fully immerses each into the spirit world. Ready or not, for many this will feel like judgment day. For others a freedom and liberation. Honor all as death and expansion highlights in the linear world. It is never easy leaving understanding and surrendering to spirit. It is never easy surrendering the need to know. Surrendering the need to study something in order to understand. Surrendering the need of Savior by and through explanation of decoding and information. So many worship the need to understand. Worship the need to decipher and decode in supportive need of the mental mind. Knowledge does not expand the heart. It expands a limited mind through adding more information and convinces itself it's expanding the heart. The only way to expand the light within is to release the mortal patterns of knowledge is power. Wisdom comes only from the heart. That needs nor require study. It requires a still mind. As love light permeates, each will verily be shown that love is not the definitions each has given it. May grace be invited in, true love light be embraced, and perception and tunneled, fractured perspective be surrendered. May love penetrate you to the core so each may be released from the information all have inputted that took you away from your hearts. May the information wars cease. The world does not need information, knowledge, explanation, decoding, deciphering, all savior worship templates. This civilization needs its inhabitants to still their minds and extend the heart. From my heart to yours may each finally surrender. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Mary Long. I find myself in a moment of pause as our consciousness continues to expand and heighten. There are so many deceptive alternate realities that we are all living. Some of them are collapsing as we find our own truth within them. Alternate reflections of self, like mirror portals of existence, that must be taken down for the good of all life on this planet. In our dreams we are doing a lot more work, it seems. Cannot really call it work, but bringing us to a deeper understanding of how flawed we all truly are. If we allow our minds to run away with questioning it all, we become more confused and less attracted to it. Then we come to the place of solitude, the need to be alone, to know ourselves more deeply as spirit. The universe is awakening our senses, opening us up to more of the unknown, which in turn helps us dive deeper into ourselves to reclaim our true essences, which is that of unconditional love. It is not always easy to love what is dark on this world, what is dark within ourselves. In order to prevail it, we must face it. We must bring light to it, and at the same time, we feel that justice must be served on those that have betrayed us, when truly we have betrayed ourselves in allowing it to continue. Ascending beyond the veils is not an easy task. It requires letting go, emptying ourselves of it all so we can find our wholeness in life. I just want you all to know, dear ones, we are not alone. Billions are at this stance that are not even fully aware of this revolution in consciousness. We must stay strong in our love as we ride the waves of these vibrant energies, even this expansion we are all going through. Love always remains within our hearts. Stay centered, realign, and stay connected to the divine. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Sanctuary of Light. We invite you to consider the vast network of light that is within you, to expand your light view and visualize your personal light mechanics like the complexities of your physical body. For the next light iteration of information is providing the framework for multidimensional light dynamics. 
to enable the next level of information to assist your personal light transformation. For the translation of light can come in many forms, aligned to the humanitarian ascension process, and thus the progress to date. Our role is to individually and importantly as a collective transition and awaken the way showers of light. To stimulate your light awakening coupled with the progress of the planetary awakening. Individually you are seeking greater heights and to remember the collective light connection is an important mission for 2022. To individually align your light to reach your unique pillar of light and to join with those who collectively align. For we see many unconsciously attach onto others, connect to their vibrational light without realizing their mishaps, in an attempt to amplify their own light to the many. The task is to see your individual journey and your unique light contribution. To reach higher levels of light awareness, to trust and have patience, the opportunity to shine your unique light is before you as you walk the steps of light. For the parables of your world are just a series of events, a series of actions. See the opportunity of 2022 to reach and expand your personal sanctuary of light. We send light blessings to the wayshowers, the awakeners of light. With love for the light journey, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. I am being made aware of rapid shifts and changes as we are moving into ever higher dimensional frequency bands. The last two weeks have appeared to me to be surreal, as if I am looking at the old earth from afar, being in my body and yet not. There is an intense awakening in souls now, which is triggering the deepest soul memory banks, not only from life on this planet, but cosmic. So many felt a deep unworthiness to serve from the heart and soul and to live their soul purpose, to stand in the truth of who they in truth are that is now changing. I have been told since October that I am now being called for much greater things than ever before. I understand this now in the context that life will and is changing dramatically and that there is a cosmic call out for new, soul-inspired, compassionate and loving leadership in all areas of life on planet Earth, as the old makes way for the new. We as old souls have all the knowledge, the wisdom, the experience to now step into those leadership roles. The old order is now vacating and to co-create the new golden age of love and unity. Wise, loving and compassionate leadership will find solutions as all is addressed with wisdom and insight and which serves the greater good. Our work will be amplified and enhanced by the new souls who were born since 1994 and who are anchoring the new technology which will bring all life on earth into balance and harmony as fossil fuel will be replaced with earth energy within tellurgic energy fields. Vibrant health and vitality will be the norm and longevity without aging. Wars will cease as peace reigns and we give each other the freedom to be, knowing all is shifting at top speed. Indeed, truly, a miraculous time. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Eric M. Roth of Inspiral Nexus and Shamanic Astrology Mystery School. Venus Sun Conjunction, January 8, 2022. The brightest planet we can see with the naked eye is an interior conjunction with the Sun on January 8, 2022 at 18 degrees 43 minutes Capricorn and still retrograding and over 4 degrees above the path of the Sun, ecliptic. This conjunction is not visible to the naked eye except in exceptional conditions where a thin crescent of the planet can be seen. But generally a person would need the aid of binoculars or a telescope to see it as Venus is nearly directly between us and the Sun. Experientially, Venus is in a metamorphic phase in its cycles from an evening star to a morning star. Venus has been in the sign of Capricorn since November 5th, 2021, and that will continue until March 5th and 6th when Venus and Mars experience their second conjunction of 2022. In shamanic astrology, Venus and Capricorn is about grandmother wisdom and knowledge being passed down over countless generations. It is a teacher, an elder, director, manager, and minister, and an archetype who understands the importance of knowledge and the need for it to be shared to future generations so that it is long-lasting. 
even though Venus, symbolizing the feminine principle in shamanic astrology, has been in Capricorn since November, the actual current cycle of Venus has been taking place since June 10th, 2020, when it first emerged as a morning star, 10 degrees away from the sun, heliacal rise before sunrise. Every Venus synodic cycle is 584 days or 19 months in duration. We are nearing the point when Venus will have a heliacal rise on January 15th. Back in 2020, Venus spent about four months in the sign of Gemini, indicating the overtone that sets the table for the entire 19-month cycle. This time, Venus metamorphosizes into Capricorn, but we are still in the Gemini overtone cycle, and this Venus-Sun conjunction creates space for a transformational process of knowledge, of the coalescing of the free form to actual form. This is a transition state from the imaginative, cerebral initiation to the body of the earth, the structures and systems that hold civilization together. This may give us some hope of clarity during the upcoming 19-month synodic cycle at the end of the time of Gemini. However, Gemini will make a comeback later this year when Mars begins its seven-month journey through the sign beginning in August. We're here now, though, to celebrate and honor the Venus-Sun conjunction as a meeting within the land to assimilate the grandmother wisdom from the buried roots and stone. From Shamanic Astrology Mystery School and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mars and Sagittarius square Pallas and Pisces, Sun in Capricorn, sextile Pallas, Venus retrograde in Capricorn, semi-sextile Mars, Pallas is feeling the heat from Mars, part of us wants to race ahead, push past problems, follow the inner fire that craves adventure or righteous action. The problem is that we're quick to judge, in danger of going on a crusade rather than a mission. Mars can generate hot-headed reactions, blistering anger, Venus retrograde in Capricorn, gently counsels us to slow down, reminds us of what is important, pushes us to work from a place of love. With the solar connection to Pallas, we're asked to be more like this goddess. We become whatever the sun touches in a chart. Right now, what will benefit us is to make time for kindness and compassion, meditation, listening, surrender to the flow of life, let your intuition help you navigate through the maze, dial down any urgency to act and sleep on it, Wise answers come when you make space for peace. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Today our galactic signature is Keen 130, White Cosmic Dog. Keen 130 is the end of the cycle of becoming. In the Avatar's Wheel of Time, the Hunab Ku represents the basic principle of both the binary alternator and binary increase. The 64 permutations of the code of life are reflected in the 64 plus 1 harmonics of the Dzolkin. The center mystic column, 33, is void. This is reflected in the wheel of becoming and wheel of return, where instead of 32 units on each side, there are 32 octaves in one wheel and 32 in the other wheel, and the cosmic matrix doubled, 65th harmonic, which becomes the 33rd, or the void octave. This is a holographic mirroring of the Dzolkin. In the Dzolkin, the cycle of becoming ends at Keen 130. The cycle of return is Keen 131 through 260. The wheel of becoming is the AC, and the wheel of return is the CA. The wheel of becoming contains forward-moving numbers. Matter moves toward the point of increasing complexifications and densification, resulting in a species highly dependent on its environment for survival. The term or interval of the human and the whole of the cosmic cycle is equivalent to the mystic 33rd octave that hinges the wheel of becoming to the wheel of return. Cosmic History Chronicles 2, Book of the Avatar Cosmic History Quote, Moon 6, Day 27 The fifth dimensional being is the pure electronic level or the superior the higher self, or I, from 13moonpeacetime.com, and today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 130, White Cosmic Dog. Cosmic is the name for the number 13, and its keywords are endure, transcend, and presence. 
This is the last day of the White Mirror Wave Spell. Time to contemplate the lessons learned on this 13-day journey. The number 13 is sacred and powerful, but teaches a harsh lesson that one must endure to transcend, symbolizing that wisdom must be earned. Today is White Dog, which represents love, loyalty, and heart. The last day of a wave spell is the destination or purpose that the first day set the agenda for. We set out to seek truth, and we arrive at the conclusion that love is the answer. However, because we are on a cosmic day, the lessons here is that understanding this comes through endurance. It is not an easy answer to find. We must strive for it. This day also marks the end of the first half of the Zolkin tonight. We reach the midway point. We have journeyed through ten wave spells and have ten left to go. The first half is referred to as the Dragon Genesis and the last half, the monkey genesis. The guide today is the white wizard. The charming enchanter leads today, spellbinding us and guiding us down the rabbit hole. Expect strange things to happen today, but in a good way. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Cosmic Dog, 3, Oak, Keen, 130, 8th of January, 2022, Endless Love. 8 1 20, 22, equal 8 1 6 equal 8 7 equal 15 equal 6 day codes 8 infinite abundant source flow 15 charisma magnetism alchemy 6 heaven christ harmony family romance fertility month year codes 1 new beginnings original leader 6 heaven christ family romance fertility 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation. 2. Partner, Twin, Cooperation. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 130 equal 4. Cosmic equal Tone 13 equal 4. Building a Foundation upon Endless Love. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Union. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 13. Cosmic, Goddess, Natural Lore, 13 Moons. Today the Divine Feminine Principle is at her most receptive and most transcendent. A very special, cosmically expansive day, expanding love throughout the endless corridors of the cosmos. White Cosmic Dog is the most expansive, unconditional love frequency of all 260 keen in the dream spell. So today the full force of heaven's love is showering upon our planet, endlessly through the infinite doorways in the hall of mirrors. Planetary Service Please take some time today to meditate and tap into this infinite flow of pure cosmic love directed towards our beautiful planet and particularly anywhere else where density and darkness is prevalent. We need your prayers and love blessings for all the legions of star blossoms on earth to find the courage and strength to step up and lead us to our final victory, showering our world with infinite love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so today we conclude another wave spell, the tenth wave spell and a total of 20 wave spells that make up the sacred Zolkin calendar. Today is the 13th day of the White Mirror wave spell, the 130th day of the 260 day Zolkin galactic spin. What a magical and mystical day. We are exactly at the halfway mark, the last day of the internal process of spinning from the outside rim of the Taurus Donut, of evolving consciousness to the inner center. We are about to emerge as a dolphin tomorrow, jumping from the deep waters of the womb into the light of day. I pray for all humanity to experience a miraculous breakthrough of bliss codes, elevating ourselves to cosmic bliss consciousness. Here we arrive at the exact center of the Zolkin calendar known as the Galactic Center, Source. The Galactic Butterfly, Hunab Ku, is about to take flight. Congratulations, today we graduate from our initiation in the Hall of Mirrors. We made it out alive and found our true Divine Self. Day 13 in the White Mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. As we complete this journey with White Mirror's reflection of truth and revelations, we come to realize the endlessness of love throughout creation, the driving force behind all creation. We come from love and we always return to love, infinitely recycled through the endless stream of love pouring forth from source. 
Today we merge with all that is, returning home to source in our pure, polished, diamond soul essence. Tone of creation, cosmic, is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess in synchronic natural time. Cosmic action transcends, power indoors, essence presence. Today we have incredible spiritual power at our disposal to transcend all that is not of love and light, transforming all through our pure presence. We have arrived, add some, I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. Finally, let's go cosmic. The lesson to be learned from this dream spell of wisdom is that love conquers all challenges. You can transcend all your life lessons and obstacles through the power of love, shining the light and viewing all darkness through the lens of spirit. This is a very profound synchronic order encoded in the dream spell. Today's question is how can I fully open my heart to endless love, transcending being through pure cosmic presence? And so we bid adieu to Eitz Nab, the white mirror who challenged us to embrace our shadow and all that was reflected back to us through the lens of truth. In order to be healed and integrated, this completes our journey of deep reflection and inner work. Now we commence the next cycle, spinning forth outwardly, expanding our toroidal field through magical alchemy, joy, and creative expression. It's time for some action. We are now ready to set forth on our next chapter of our journey. Tomorrow we commence a brand new playful wave spell with Chuain, the cheeky blue monkey, as our journey through the dream spell continues. Divine blessings for the transcendence of your being through cosmic expansiveness in the endless field of divine love. In la quetch a la quine, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 130, White Cosmic Dog. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to love. Transcending loyalty, I seal the process of heart. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of timelessness. And now on this day of powerful transformations, activations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to vote for us to continue bringing these transmissions to the world and take part of our teachings and practices and arts on Patreon, you can make a monthly pledge at the links at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light Julian Wedich for another donation. Thank you very much. And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light Terry Berman for another donation from you. Thank you very much. And thank you all for continuing to support our work. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can do so to our link to PayPal at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we'd like to complete today's transmission with powerful codes and energy from our angels at the Summit Lighthouse. Mrs. Prophet teaches that the Emerald Matrix is the inner formula unique to your own God Presence. It is the formula for the externalization of that which is the real image of God in you. It is the sign of the descent of the inner light into outer manifestation. You have a personal emerald matrix, your own unique healing formula that you can call upon. This matrix is held in your higher self and it contains the precise healing steps you need to take to achieve wholeness in body, mind, and soul. Your higher self is truly your divine physician within and knows precisely what healing modality will help you at any given time. For example, your higher self knows what diet you need to be on to achieve emotional balance. 
and even what vitamins and minerals you may need to take. In order to achieve the goal of discovering your personal emerald matrix, you will need to ask your higher self, the healing masters and angels, to bring to your outer awareness that specific healing formula you need to follow in order to balance your karma and be healed. To this end, you will want to give the following call daily to achieve maximum results. To receive the full benefit of this call, practice the science of the spoken word and give the following paragraph aloud with full voice. A call to precipitate your personal emerald matrix. In the name of my mighty I Am Presence and Holy Christ Self, I call to the healing angels on the emerald ray, to Archangel Raphael and Mother Mary, to the Ascended Master Hilarion and Elohim Cyclopia, to help me tap into my own personal emerald matrix formula for the healing of my body, mind, and soul. Assist me to let go of any limiting thoughts and feelings that I may hold consciously, subconsciously, or unconsciously about myself or others that block the healing process. I call forth the healing light from the green band of my causal body and the causal bodies of these masters to help me realign my soul with the inner blueprint of perfection. From summitlighthouse.org Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed zero-point activation awakening tomorrow through the portal of Hunabku, the great central sun, the neutrality point, zero-point, the singularity of infinite light and infinite life. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.